the next method we're going to cover here, and it's a bracketing method for finding the roots of uh, an equation. So it's a bracketing method, and it is called the uh, false position method. Okay, so the false position method is actually rather simple. So let's let's get our uh, a little graph of our equation up here. So let's say we have our equation, and it looks something like this. Maybe it shoots off to infinity there. And let's say uh, to start off, of course, we need to bracket a root. And let's say we bracket the root uh, that lies here. And so this is our bracket, and let me sketch in the axis there so we can see it a little better. All right, so this is our bracket, and so we say the, bra the, the root lies somewhere in there. And the false position method, what it does is it says, okay, let's evaluate our um, function at these two points again. So we evaluate it there, it's positive. Uh, we evaluate it there, it's negative. Well, that's nice. Positive there, negative there. Okay, so then uh, the next thing we do is we say, okay, well, uh, let's just draw a straight line between these points. And uh, this is my uh, lousy attempt at a straight line. But let's just draw a straight line between this point and this point. Okay, so this is also called the linear interpolation method. And so we draw a straight line between those two points and uh, we can easily find the point at which that intersects with the axis here. And so we say, okay, where that intersects with the axis, that point there, that is going to be our new guess for um, the root. So we're going to guess that that's the root and or, or that the root is close to there and so then we're going to take and we're going to evaluate the function at that point. So we evaluate the function at that point and of course this one turns out to be negative. Well, this establishes a new bracket so now our bracket is in between here where the function was positive and here where the function is, is negative and uh, we run through this whole scenario all over again. We take and we uh, I already have the eva function evaluated here. We evaluate the function here. And we see where the line going straight between those two points intersects with the axis. It's here. So we project that up, we get this point here, it evaluates to be positive, and so our new bracket is here, which is actually rather tight. We continue doing this until our, uh, our error is sufficiently small.